Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the Hive Hand and uh, today we have a uh, guest uh, appearing on our channel in the form of Terrapin Rhea in his tier 5 uh, Fubuki, the Japanese Imperial Navy destroyer. Now i um, grown to become quite good friends with uh, Terrapin since uh, since uh, meeting on uh, World of Warships uh, a uh, couple of couple of couple of months ago now. Uh, he's a fantastic player, great teammate, and uh, I'm looking forward to spend uh, uh, spend uh, oh, sp uh, spend more time reviewing some of his gameplays. To be honest, um, as um, as content creators, and obviously you've you've all seen a lot of my games. Um, it's always it's it's quite difficult. You, I think, um, I've got a lot of newfound respect for. Uh, for YouTube content creators because you're always trying to chase that perfect game and um, part of the time I think you may sort of lose the the element of fun about the games that you're playing just because you're trying to produce such good content and don't get as much time to watch other people's videos and enjoy them like I used to as well so having uh, having uh, a subscriber or a friend come forward with, uh, with oh, yo hey hi look at this I've had an amazing game please watch this and and getting getting great content like this it's not all about us as content creators it's about you guys it's about the community and uh, and I'm, I'm really enjoying showcasing uh, some more of that so as you can see uh, Terrapin has um, launched uh, a nice big volley of uh, torpedoes in the general direction of the battleships that were uh, uh, trying to encroach on his space and uh, he's playing very sort of ag aggressively um this is what destroyers should be doing they should be getting out they should be spotting yes he's moved away from the smoke screen because why would you sit in front of a smoke screen uh, clearly there's an enemy destroyer there if you can spot him and give your team the ability to shoot them and not get spotted and die yourself that's perfect as we score the first couple of hits with torpedoes are we going to get a third are we going to get a fourth it just misses the rear but three three hits out of uh, out of the nine torpedo spread. That really nice start to the game. Uh, <laughs> this New Mexico seems to be uh, a, a destroyer captain's wet dream. Almost uh, not really moving, uh, not changing direction, staying in a straight line. As you can see, it looked like he started to accelerate there. As we could see, the torpedo reticle moving slightly. But uh, but hardly ever. Um, you know the, the the changes were very slight, very simple, very easy, and uh, I hopefully we're going to see some more damage. So Terrapins obviously is debating: do do I shoot at the uh, uh, Mitsuki? Uh, do I shoot at the New Mexico? Obviously, as a destroyer, a, a key element to gameplay. Is, is stealth you don't want to get spotted you don't want the enemy to know where you are because uh, in that that is in where your strength lies and uh, unfortunately I don't think we hit the New Mexico there <laughs> that we were aiming for I think we hit is it the Bayern that's behind it so he's spotted he's within uh, within three well, within four kilometers now of the Mitsu and has no choice other than to use his guns so uh, both uh, Terrapin and the other destroyer focus their fire, get rid of the threat, so they can continue to punish these battleships for sailing in straight lines and not making any uh, any sort of invasive maneuvers. This is why you want to stay undetected. You get uh, you do get focused down really quickly when in destroyers because you are such a big threat, which <coughs> makes destroyers hard to play well. But also incredibly fun. Uh, they, you know, they're, they're the, the smallest. They have the lowest hit points, but they're potentially the the most uh, the most powerful. Uh, you know, definitely up there with the ability of ships like the Iowa to get uh, to get one salvo kills, um, but without taking any return fire at all. So he uh, repairs the damage to his engine starts backing up another nice big spread off at the uh, the battleships and uh, let's see how these are going to work out for him 
We're on uh, 48,000 damage already in the first five minutes of the game. A very respectable uh, start. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to see Terrapin uh, improve on this a little bit more. And that Byron looks like he's definitely going to eat a couple of torpedoes. He starts turning. That's a little bit too late. That's one. Oh, unfortunately, no second torpedo hit. Is that third one going to make contact? There we go. There's the third torpedo hit. And what is that, that? What what is this New Mexico doing? There's a smoke screen there, and you've just pulled out and stopped like, right in front of it. Um, I think that might have been a bit of a waste of a torpedo salvo because he was clearly switching direction. <coughs> but uh, but why? <laughs> there is uh, obviously we have Rear, Ran Rear Admiral Arnold Horatio Dankworth Gastrels. Uh, video on uh, how to battleship 101 so uh, I think I feel maybe some of these players need to uh, need to need to check that out <laughs> and, uh, and and understand the, uh, the the tactics behind playing the uh, playing battleships and how to not get blown up by torpedoes so on 73,000 damage six torpedo hits uh, so far and uh, we're closing in um, obviously he's not all too keen about coming out from behind this mountain uh, whilst he's been spotted by aircraft and that's exactly why <laughs> more shots coming in uh, oh okay so that New Mexico I seen him reverse him back I didn't see him dying so uh, I wonder what finished him off be uh, flooding or fire caused by uh, someone else as we line up shots on the Bayern. And Terrapin very, very confidently then just firing the single spread on the uh, on the aiming axis. Uh, let's see how that pans out. I usually set a spread on the axis. Uh, one slightly in front and one slightly behind to sort of cover any manoeuvres. As he does get spotted, he uh, hits his speed boost and uh, gets the hell out of there. That's uh, exactly what you should do. You, uh, I think, like I, like I keep on saying it and reiterating it, but that Bayern looked like he took the uh, the torpedo launch. That confidence that Terrapin had in his shot definitely showed through there. And uh, this new uh, this new Mexico, oh, very very narrow escape from uh, from our torpedoes then that's the point you get detected it alerts the uh, the battleships uh, or uh, cruisers destroyers doesn't matter what you're firing at it alerts them to your position and uh, that's why stealth and paying attention to that mini map is uh, is absolutely key uh, not just to destroyers but to absolutely every ship type um, there is uh there will be in the uh, rear admiral uh Horatio Dankworth Gastrel series um there is going to be a, a a comprehensive video um we found some footage of him explaining the the map and how to use those tactics to your advantage so I'm uh, looking forward to the release of that over the next uh, over the next week or two but uh, obviously paying attention that New Mexico was aware of him so why why what's the point in trying to hunt down a ship that knows you're there and knows you're aiming at him they're just going to be changing directions and making life very difficult but uh, this Congo may not be as aware that there is a uh, destroyer sneaking in behind him and uh, there's a big difference between uh, how aware I guess there's there's that there's how aware ships are, and uh, and how focused they are on your enemy. Uh, obviously, taking shots at, uh, at a battleship or anything that's engaged with someone else, their their focus, their attention is already being taken up, which uh, which can give you a uh, a strategic advantage. So. Uh, we're jumping into cap C here. Uh, obviously, we're behind on points. Even though the ships are equal, the enemy team has held A and C. 
almost uh, the entire match so for the last nine and a half minutes so this is this is crucial this is a, a key capture to help us stay in the game so it is 3v3 two battles uh, two battleships and a destroyer against uh, uh, two battleships and a cruiser but now the points lead isn't going to be extended anymore so Terrapins paid attention you can see obviously that New Mexico is making a beeline for B funnily enough so uh, instead of directly chasing him down uh, Terrapins going to use this island to close in uh, using cover and concealment which is another key uh, component of uh, of destroyer gameplay you know because yes we can sneak within you know we can we can just sail in the open up until I believe he's got his concealment down to about five kilometers but if you use islands um, you can get to within two kilometers if you get within two kilometers anything lower than two kilometers you're automatically detected but you can get within two and a half kilometers using an island and uh, and still um, not be spotted so we've actually managed to stay outside of detection ah oh, only just we just got spotted as uh, Terrapin turns to make some uh, evasive maneuvers <laughs> clips the rock unfortunately but uh, the New Mexico doesn't seem to be paying that much attention he's clearly got his focus elsewhere as he uh, attempts to fire a full salvo and misses every single one and two hits three four that's number five and uh, so within five hits we uh, almost completely annihilate the uh, the new mexico this is why everyone wants to kill destroyers because they're just so powerful so um i believe that's flooding we've caused we are we are flooding the uh the new uh, the new mexico as you can see our damage our damage i say our damage terrapins damage this is all him this has got absolutely nothing to do with me as you can see it slowly but surely ticking up he goes to fire a salvo to make sure he's dead but absolutely no need for it at all as uh, 148 damage high caliber 13 torpedo hits 10 floodings has uh, very much secured um the uh the, the the kill there and uh so 148,000 damage in a tier five that's that's impressive but uh judging by uh how the fact that our battleship is over a cap in that the uh koenig now as you can see uh if you paid attention there but terrapin didn't follow the aiming reticle at all uh, he advanced to the fire of both of them because uh, the Konigsberg was was turning So he's under the assumption that the Konigsberg was going to turn and make a beeline straight for his general direction So we fire them in advance um, a, a risky move some might say because you know you, you Firing a ship that's moving is is difficult predicting exactly what they're going to do um, just want to point out, don't know if anyone else has noticed, but Terrapin's down to 26 HP. He has used absolutely every single hit point available to him. That Konigsberg, what was he doing? He was blind firing. I think he was trying to blind fire into the smoke screen that uh, that Terrapin left back there. And uh, even though Terrapin was spotted, he still emptied his uh, his clip as uh, Terrapin scores yet another three torpedo hits taking us up to 16 unfortunately no flooding but that's why he finished him off rapidly with his guns and uh, <laughs> an absolutely stunning game it was a pleasure to watch and uh, congratulations on whatever milestone you just passed because you've just gone up three levels in the campaign so I've looked at the end plate. So we finished. Uh, Terrapin finished on one hundred and eighty-six thousand damage, high caliber in his tier five Fabuki with sixteen torpedo hits, giving us very much a masterclass in exactly how destroyers are meant to be played. So I'd like to thank Terrapin for for submitting that, sending that to me, and uh, 
it was it was enjoying enjoying to watch um almost as enjoyable as it was to play i'm sure <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for that thank you for sticking with us guys and uh, until next time take care